<laughs> you see? You don't get rid of me that easy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Merck Lapidus. Who? From America. He's president of... In season one, I had a grand idea to bring this show from London to Hollywood. Unpack those bloody bags. You've got some telly to make. Merck promised us the moon on a stick and gave us some in a bucket. The New York Post pucks. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. Open up! Third season, I'm kind of on the outside looking in. Merck went through a big dumping. He gets dumped by Carol. Get out! He gets dumped by his wife. He gets dumped by the network. Such a grim picture we're painting of poor Merck. Did you see his office? It's like he was never here. Like the movie, The Vanishing. I never saw it. And someone vanishes. Oh. oh, Merck. Merck is an incredibly sensitive topic for Carol. Of course she still feels something for him. She doesn't want to. You weren't sleeping with Merck for the last five years. We're talking too fast, too damp, often farty. <laughs> The third season, Carol is in a full-on, crazy, transitional period. I have a good feeling about this. You do? I don't. Carol is the head of development at the infamous network. For the record, I've never anyone for a job. <gasps> Impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. It's always been a thing for Carol to make everyone in her vicinity happy. You need to stop trying to please people. Can you do that? I, that? That's what you want. <laughs> All right, so this was great. I think uh, Merck definitely wants Carol back. You know how hard it is to be 52? Realize you <laughs> yourself out of everything you ever wanted. I'll bet it's even harder at 58. <laughs> Maybe I go back to him in the third season. What? Who knows what's going to happen? I think people are in for a great ride. Episodes.